opportunity to participate in this year's National Fall of Our Country Memorial Services. I'm truly honored and humbled to be a part of this important event. When this memorial was authorized and established in 1981, no one could have imagined the impact it would have on the history of the fire service. Today, this monument serves as a testament to the commitment and dedication of the 3,000 plus firefighters memorialized here and the 85 firefighters we honor today. Throughout the history of this great nation, firefighters have played a critical role in protecting communities, homes, and businesses. These courageous men and women put their lives on the line as they willingly stand between the dangers of fire and those threatened by it with purpose, vision, determination, perseverance, integrity, and courage. Brave men and women across the country join the fire service. You see, there are the ones, these are the ones who act, despite uncertainties, circumstances, and regardless of the outcome. And I have seen heroes emerge from everyday people like our firefighters, sometimes from unlikely places. Today, we come together, not as a fire company, a division, or the type, but as a family, to pay tribute to the fallen for their ultimate sacrifice. Every year, we pause to remember and show our appreciation for every heroic deed, act of kindness, and rescue, regardless of the size or place of the event. We embrace you, the families of the fallen. Yes, we've lost our brother and sister and fellow comrades. We think about the accomplishments and celebrations we've experienced together, and we think about the contributions they had yet to make. But your loss is much greater. Your loss is immeasurable. You've lost a husband, a wife, a son, or a daughter, a father, a mother, a brother, or sister. But I want you to know that every one of us shares in your loss in our own special way. Let me assure you that the United States Fire Administration continues to work with partner organizations to find ways reduce the loss of life and property in America. We are committed to continue our current prevention and outreach programs for this country. We embrace the united effort to eliminate preventable firefighter deaths and injuries, as well as to improve firefighter health and safety. The men and women we honor today will be a constant reminder of the work we have to do to ensure that after the call is over, everyone goes home. The service and sacrifice represented here today by these firefighters and their survivors should be an inspiration to us all. When I think about these everyday heroes as we memorialize, memorialize them today and on other days and how we each honor them going forward, I often think of a short verse by John Wesley that says, he says, do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, in all the places you can at all the times you can, to all the people you can, as long as ever you can. I thank you for the opportunity to serve as your United States Fire Administrator. May God shed His grace and peace on each and every one of you. May God bless the fire emergency services, and may God continue to bless the United States of America.